Hey everyone, welcome back and come on in. Come on in and make yourself comfortable. We have another cool toy. This time it's a little toy, so grab that cup of coffee if it's steaming. Stir it, clank it, add a little sweetener, a little cream if you're so inclined. A snack, get focused on the video. Or if it's the evening time, if it's not morning, get another type of beverage. Something that'll mellow you out. Maybe it's a Jägermeister shot. That'll really mellow you out or some grain alcohol. Anyway, uh, with that out of the way, and by the way, if you're lurking, please subscribe. Fresh in from Thailand, I have a little orange moon capsule. You know, isn't it funny? Because we're sending a rocket to the moon. Doesn't it have like crash test dummies in it or something? By the way, today I'm drinking my La Croix orange. And, you know, I'm filming this video in the latter part of September, and it'll be posting in November. You know, I was shooting first for September opening of the collection. Then I thought October. But my older son is getting married in November. And I said, you know what? I, I don't see how I can open uh, in October and then just wig out or bug out for, you know, like a few weeks after opening, that's just not going to happen. You know, it's not going to work. So I'm going to have to push the opening until after he's married, which is going to be right around the time these videos post. So it's going to be kind of strange, you know, because you're looking into the past, as I always say. So we'll see how it goes. Um, You know, and it's funny because all the videos I've posted up until this point, you know, didn't have that that scenario in mind of this wedding that was looming because I figured if it was September I can open for a couple of months but now forget it so we'll be looking at a fall a fall uh, Thanksgiving-ish opening and that's okay you know we'll be giving thanks that the collection will open and hopefully by then uh, Fred Barton will have my freaking Robbie ready so I'm gonna have to get on his case after this video I'm gonna email him and I know he's going to say supply chain and all this other crap, but I'm going to say, dude, you need to get moving. Anyway, let's get back to this toy. This is by Kanto, one of the coolest maker of uh, Japanese tin, I might add. And this was a very cool little moon capsule. And I forgot the rocket that's going up there with those. I mentioned it before and I got sidetracked. It, it had like the crash test dummies. And I'm thinking, my wife actually mentioned this. She said, how come if we sent... Astronauts to the moon in 69. This time, what is it, Artemis? They have to send freaking crash test dummies in there. You know, we're talking, uh, how many years later? 53 years later, we haven't perfected the technology to to send humans back out. It makes you wonder, you know, uh, why? What did we do wrong? Why haven't we advanced and progressed from 1969? Anyway, here's your box. Here's your wonderful Canto logo. Look at the nice simplistic square font on that. Nice little graphics on the side here. I like it. it, has a little bit of everything. The guy waving from the space station. Hello there, young fellow. And uh, yeah, I think this was designed for the price. Probably like, you know, 69 cents or something. Here's a patent pending. And uh, the, the, uh, the graphic here is pretty cool. He's like in his, uh, capsule and there's the lunar lander right there i have a vehicle that i don't know if i will have posted it by now i have a couple of car videos looming i just have to make them i want my car videos to be a little robust and detailed so they're not like these where i can just kind of wing them and <laughs> rattle them off and uh you know ad lib for um, you know five to ten minutes they have to be a little more comprehensive. But anyway, this was 1272. And it's cool. The lunar lander's going on the surface of the moon. Unlike Artemis, that, you know, has to have the crash test dummies. So anyway, I dig orange space toys. They're not as common. And they just add a nice splash of color. And look at this thing. He's got a, he's got a space station over here. He's got probably Earth under some uh, cloud coverage, I guess. He's got a satellite over here. Now, keep in mind, this was made in the 60s. How many satellites were floating in the 60s? They had to be uncommon. But look at this beautiful rocket here. Reminds me of that rocket from, like, Tintin or something. And here's his buddy, 
floating away, save me. Now he's tethered, he's got a line. Maybe he'll make it back to the capsule. And he stands up and look at his expression. Look at this guy's expression. He's a happy camper. It's like, I'm digging it. But he won't be so happy on re-entry with his head sticking out. It'll probably burn off like he's in a microwave. And even the bottom is lithographed. You got stars and shooting stars and another space station. Man, they were optimistic with all these space stations back then. We have the one. Haven't they crash landed that thing yet? Anyway, and it's a wind up as you see here. So let's wind it up and see it go. <laughs> yeah, there you go. There's the money shot. I gotta do that one more time because it's too cool. Does that? Now you gotta admit that is pretty cool for a wind up. That has uh, almost better actions than a lot of the battery toys that I have. Anyway, that wraps up your beautiful orange mechanical turn action moon capsule by Canto. If you like this toy, do me a favor and thumb up the video if you like. And by the way, let me just give you the close-up of the logo there. See that? Canto made in Japan. If you like it, thumb up the video. As I mentioned, I would be greatly appreciated. And if you're a lurker or a passerby, a nomad, a drifter, like a high plains drifter, uh, do me a favor and subscribe. By the time this post, maybe we'll be close to what nine hundred subscribers on that on that journey. It feels like it feels like I'm in the Sahara Desert, clawing, scratching, looking for the oasis. <laughs> to get to a thousand. I can't believe what a grind it is thanks to these algorithms. And um, with that, we're still progressing. And that's on YouTube, BitChute, Rumble, and Odyssey also can use a little boost. So if you're on those platforms, share the videos too and get those to grow a little bit. With that, thanks for your time. It's always appreciated. And I'll talk to you later.